always a rainbow within reach on animal So good to see you again. The rest of the gang is already here. Let's see what Pig is up to. Hi, Pig. What are you painting? Well, I wanted to paint a snowman, but it's hard to see the white paint on the paper. Could you use darker paper? Hedgehog, that's a great idea. <laughs> Look, now you can see my snowman. That looks really good, Pig. Can I paint too? Of course. Mr. Goose, Mr. Goose, we're painting with white paint on dark paper. Can we make white the color of the day? Hedgehog, that's a great idea. Presenting white. rabbit is white. There it is. White rabbit. Which goat is white? There it is. White goat. Which dish is white? There it is. White dish. Which flower is white? 
There it is. White flower. Sensational. I'm crunching leaves. But only white leaves. <gasps> I see one. Let's look for more. Let's look for one more. Do you see it? There it is. We did it! <laughs> Yay! See you! It's story time! Yay! Gather round, everyone! What book are we reading? We're reading this one. It's called, What Does Anu See? Anu is a little girl who likes to observe things. That means she looks at them very carefully and notices things. I wonder what she observes. Let's find out. Let's begin. What does Anu see? Written and illustrated by Lavanya Karthik. Anu loves to look at things, things both big and small. Houses way up on the hills and ants upon the wall. Things in the kitchen, things on the shelf, things in the garden, things on herself. Anu sees patterns and shapes everywhere. Nothing at all can escape her stare. Spots on a ladybug, circles in the trees. Shapes made by people, shapes made by bees. Lines on a leaf, like lines on her hand. The marks of her feet in wet seaside sand. Waves in the water, waves in her hair. Mushrooms on tree trunks, birds in the air. Words in a book that can take her to new places, full of new colors, new stories, and new faces. Things of the color that she loves best, red, like the three wiggly hairs on her brother Boo's head. Sprinkles on the cake Daddy baked today, and the stars that twinkle at her from far, far away. Rabbits in the clouds floating up in the sky. Elephants in the shadows. Come give it a try. Anu is happy with all the things she sees. Do you see all the things that little Anu sees? The end. Thank you, Mr. Goose. Thank you for reading with me. Kids, it's time for a sing-along with Mr. Frog. Yay! Remember to say hello when you see him. Hello, kids. Hello, Mr. Frog. Let's sing a song called This Old Man. I'll sing the first verse and then you can join in. Are you ready? Yay! Yeah, we're ready. Let's do it. This old man, he played one. He played knick-knack on my thumb with a knick-knack paddywhack. Give the dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. Oh dear, what number comes after one? Two! You're right. Let's all sing. This old man, he played two. He played knick-knack on my shoe with, with a knick-knack knick paddywhack. Give the dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. Fantastic. And what number comes after two? Fox? Three! That's right! Here we go! This old man, he played three! He played knick-knack on my knee With a knick-knack paddywhack in the dog a bone This old man came rolling home Great singing, everyone! Hmm, now what number is after three? Four! Yes, here we go! 
This old man, he played four. He played knick-knack on my door with, with a knick-knack paddywhack. Give the dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. Let's do one more. Now let's see. What number comes after four? Five! Oh, of course. Let's sing. This old man, he played five. He played knick-knack on my hive with, with a knick-knack paddywhack. Give the dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. Thank you for helping me with my numbers today. Oh, Mr. Frog, you know your numbers. Well then, thanks for helping me sing. See you next time, everybody. Goodbye. Goodbye, Goodbye Mr. Mr. Frog. Here's something we already did. Let's do it again. Hey, everybody. Let's practice our letters by playing the alphabet game. Yay! I want to hear you, too. Let's all play the alphabet game. When I show you a letter, say its name. Are you ready? Yeah! What's this letter? I! What's this letter? J! What's this letter? L! What's this letter? T! Now let's do it fast! Everybody. That's how you play the alphabet game when you see a letter. You say its name! Woo! The letter T! <laughs> Here's Monkey with a healthy habit. Let's wash our hands. Make sure your hands are wet and you've got plenty of soap. If you know the words, sing along with me. First you rub your hands together and then you scrub the backs. Slide your fingers in between, I think you've got the knack. Then you grip your hands together, then twist around your thumbs. Rub your fingers on your hands and after that you're done. Now rinse your hands and dry them off. <laughs> Let's show off our clean hands. Yay! Goodbye! And now it's time to say goodbye. Let's sing our goodbye song. Goodbye, goodbye. It's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye. Let's stop to say goodbye before we say hello again. We need to say goodbye. Goodbye, friend. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. <laughs> Time to rest. Take a deep breath in. Let it out. Good. Listen. Do you know the Muffin Man? The Muffin Man? The Muffin Man? Do you know the Muffin Man who lives on Drury Lane? Oh yes, I know the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man. Yes, I know the Muffin Man who lives on Drury Lane. The Muffin Man, 
The Muffin Man, the Muffin Man. Do you know the Muffin Man who lives on Drury Lane? Oh yes, I know the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man. Yes, I know the Muffin.